Welcome, what up, what up, what up? This is Miz the Grizz, New Trees represented to the fullest. Trees up. Yes, yes, yes. Another day, another dollar, another blessing. Are you mugger muggers hungry or no? I'm ask you again, is you hungry or no? This mug was like, yo, we gotta go to Moon Dog. I'm like, yo, what's Moon Dog? It's like, yo, what's hot dog? I'm like, yo, but I'm sleep dog. It's like, yo, wake your ass up. We're gonna eat some glizzies today. We're gonna eat glizmeisters today. <laughs> yo, we in Morristown, New Jersey, the Morristown Mall. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. If you've been to Morristown Mall, you know about it cool. You know what I'm saying? That's a spot called Moon Dog, Moon, Moon Dog Grill. And they make hot dogs here. And like I think it's double fried fries here. Double fried fries? Yes, double fried fries. That's what they known for. It. Hot dogs and double fried fries here. So they're a little that. more crunchier. So that's what we're going for today. Yeah, we're going to roll up here. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Because sharing is caring. And we're going to see you mugger muggets in a little bit, all right? Today, we went ahead and we ordered three three glizzies. Nah, man, we ordered three hot dogs. Walking Dead hot dog, a Chicago hot dog. First of all, I feel kind of like, I don't know if I should do this to myself by ordering a Chicago hot dog here in Morristown, New Jersey, but, um, I guess I kind of want to sample and see what a Chicago hot dog could taste like. So, excuse me to all my Chicago fans. Why is it getting darker right now? I don't know. It's like they turn the light down, man. You know, it's like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we like to make <laughs> The show is about to begin. <laughs> Shit, maybe the movie guys start. Let's move there right here. They turned the wrong movie, the wrong, wrong lights down, man. You got the Filipino dog. Yeah, I got the Filipino dog. You chose the Chicago dog. We wanted to go with the Chicago taste, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he want to see what he in for before he gets to Chicago. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading to Chicago. I got the Filipino dog. I don't know when the next time, I, I don't know when I'm coming to Philippine, the Philippines, but it you got to the Philippines. That thing got sticky rice on it. It got mangoes on it. And it got um sweet Thai chili sauce on it. And then we just got a, what's the other one we got? Um, what's the other one? Oh, the Walking Dead dog. Walking Dead got all kind of peppers and shit like that on there, man. Really. Be honest with you. When it comes to hot dogs, I'm a simple man. I am a simple man. Give me ketchup, mustard, sauerkraut, and onions. I'm cool. I, I thought the Chicago was a little pretty simple, so I was like, let me yeah. go for the Filipino, man. You know, go for that Filipino taste. And then that Walking Dead one, you know what I'm saying? If it's hot, it's hot. If it ain't, you know. All sure I want to know, why is it taking them more than two minutes to hot, make the hot dog? You know what I'm saying? It's just. It might be done. I just ain't go over there and check yet. <laughs> yeah. Shucks. I'm with it. And they supposedly got the best fries in town. So I don't. It's gonna be double fried fries. I, I had them before. I'm. Let me see. I had them once. And they were, they were I talked to them about it. It was extra fry, extra hard. So we're gonna see what it is. It was good. Don't get me wrong. And you can get, um, should I get the malt? The malt they go with them? You should. Yeah. Some vinegar? Yeah, yeah, I like that's, that. That right there. I like that. That's right there. Oh, hot. That kinda, that, I know. <laughs> that kinda remind me of like salt and vinegar chips. That thing banging. Yo, you ever taste the board? It's like they like boardwalk fries, but they crunch you. And boardwalk fries you can tell. I like you know when it comes to malt like the, the vinegar, the malt I, I like them kinda like thick cut though. Yeah. So it can absorb like the vinegar more. But you know, to each his own. I'm gonna do that and we're gonna um, Oh there it is right there. Is that it? No. <laughs> What if you walked up to me, hey, man? Thank you. <laughs> I was out there. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You bought it. <laughs> Somebody was walking with the train. Like, it looked like he was walking to us. But it was like that was his own food. It'd be funny if Miz walked up to him. Like, yo, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's thank you, Chief. I didn't mean that, you know. <laughs> I think the food done. It's got to be done. 
Yeah, he, he probably tell us he said, you know. All right, we'll be back in one second, guys. We're going to see if this food is finished. Damn. Oh, pretty good, Lizzie. Uh, it's got some butt naked glizzies right here. Right out the bun. Look at this. the Filipino one. That's the Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Mm -hmm. And we got some fries. Alright. Oh, let me get some malt vinegar too while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. Alright, everybody, alright, everybody, everybody. We back, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back. We try to keep it quiet because we in the mall. I don't really care. I don't make a lot of noise in the mall. Want to. But. Not them wait. <laughs> I forgot the hand sanitizer, Chief. I would think they got hand sanitizer somewhere in here. Let me wash my board real quick, man. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> right, these neck of the woods, we got something better, Chief. They got wipes around here. That's what I'm talking about. Shucks. Cleanliness is still next to godliness. Some people be like, yo, no, the um, the hand sanitizer wipes is better than the um, you know, yeah, just because it gets the dirt off, so like that too. I think with the hand sanitizer, it's like mainly just, it just liquid. Spreads, yeah. Yeah. It's like the germs run up here and <laughs> wait for it to dry and come back down. <laughs> so, right. you know what I'm saying? We got the, we got the. The Glizz is here. The Glizz is here. Ms. The Gl Ms. The Glizz. Ms. Ms. The Glizzy. <laughs> Ms. The Glizz. Well, actually, that's actually a, uh, you can use that as your advantage though, Ms. The Glizz. Ladies. <laughs> I don't want to get the wrong idea with y'all, okay, man? I don't think y'all get some Glizz, okay? <laughs> Shoot. So yeah, man, you know, I got you some, some, um, Vinegar. So vinegar, yeah, some ketchup cheese. You Let's know, so, you know, people might be saying we double dip. So I, I guess I'm gonna we gonna break, break these up, but you wanna fries. you gonna do Chicago and I'm gonna do the Filipino, you wanna you want a piece of each. No, I don't need I, I wanna do this. Unless you wanna you want some of this? No, nah, really no. Yo, That's Q, a, you want some of this? No. Nah, we're moving. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, man, I'm good, man. So yo, how's the crew? The crew's good, man. So I got this one right here. I got the Filipino dog, man. The Filipino dog got the mango one. It got sticky rice on it, and it got sweet Thai chili sauce in that thing. Ooh, ooh. I'm actually thoroughly impressed. They got the butt naked dog. This is I call this when it comes to hot dog etiquette. You know how like you get you get the butt naked tins. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, I was doing that video. <laughs> this is just the this is the butt naked hot dog. You know what I mean? This is a violation right here. So if it's not in the bun. You know, it's a violation, so we, you know. This thing hanging out the bun, you know, this bun, man. So here we go. Yo, this actually looks really good. I ain't gonna front. This looks good. You know what, man? This movie remind me of, what? remind me of, um, American Pie. When they go to, um, Dog Days or something like this. Dog, at the end, they, guess what they go to? Cheers, Chief. Cheers, man. Cheers to y'all. We're gonna go in. We're going there. Yeah, hold on. I got, <laughs> yo, you, you can't even bite this way. you like, <laughs> Hey, like you got stepped in over that, man. Hold on, man. Let's let start it, man. No, I think I know somebody over there. Hold on, be right back. Mmm. <laughs> Cheers. What's up? Mmm. Mmm. Hey, See you. The mango one got kind of like a mangoish. I'm gonna cook you know it's a mango. It's, it's more sweet. Let me see if that's real sticky rice. I don't think that's really sticky rice. No, sticky rice stick together. It's still good though. It's good. Let me see. Hot dog got a good snap to it. Mm -hmm. It's grilled. The toppings are good. Toppings is actually really good. So you got the celery salt on here. Mm -hmm. I 
forgot the name of the peppers they use, like maybe like a sporty something like begins with an S. I forget what they was those times that them little them little they like jar pickles. Yeah, you can't I mean, get them nowhere. Cause I tried I tried to make it one time, I couldn't find these peppers. But I got some mustard on here, some lettuce, green peppers, some onions. This is good. Oh that's how it's sort of good too. Yeah, this thing here. So this one, like I said, he said it got a good snack to it. It's a beef hot dog. I'm bougie. I like beef hot dogs, man. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm bougie as ever, yo. The mangoes and the rice and mm. the sweet chili sauce. No, 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 I like, I'm not the type, like, I eat pork. Like, we eat pork, so. But I can admit, beef hot dogs, undefeated, dog. You know what else is good? Remember when we used to, um, we had our kick before. This is how long we go. It go this long with us. We had a kick. It was me, you, and Tom. Yeah. And we used to get the Kunstlers. Mm -hmm. Chicken and turkey hot dogs. I'm Kunstlers off the hook, yo. Because yeah, you get a lot. Mm -hmm. You get like a big pack of hot dogs for like 10 bucks. Those are good, but you know, beef hot dogs are the best. Yes. I would shout out this brand that does it, but I don't want to shout them out. But there's a certain brand that does it really good. You can cut this out. They got good snack to them. Mm -hmm. And it's still all in the casing. Like mm -hmm. connect. But they remind me of like cartoons. When you watch cartoons, it's like the casing is like still stuck to each other. Yeah, cook, snip it, and mm -hmm. put them through. Yo, that snap on them things be like. Mm -hmm. Fries are good too. Mm-hmm. I'm dipping inside that, um... Hey, even from here. That's what I put on there. Oh, mm. Fries are cool. This has a little bit more dense to it. Than, than, than it definitely tastes like quality fries. I double fried fries. It's nice and quiet in here. We came at a good hour. The mall. Most time mall ain't always, you know. I know it's packed, packed. From what I hear, I think they're gonna close soon. Really? I don't know if they're gonna close, but they they're gonna definitely do a lot of remodeling and stuff. You know, it's just food, just on um, food court ain't like they usually is, though, neither. Huh. Mm hmm. I'm gonna keep your company for a while. Yeah. That hot dog was off the hook. Okay. Ever said this is my first time here? It ain't my first time, but the girl we can pretend. Okay, Yo, we've been on like a kick. And like hot dogs and sausages and stuff like pause. Let me know you know I said no pause. I'm gonna kick. Sometimes you want what you want and when you want it. And this is what I wanted, man. Like, you know, like we was gonna travel to go get something, but it's right in your own backyard. Yeah. That has a more time on has a you know ain't as good as a food court as it used to be, but it's more more to it, you know what I'm saying? So you definitely um yeah, you definitely it's more eclectic, let's put that way. A lot of malls, the food courts are eclectic. You know, but back in the day, it used to be like McDonald's, you got the um the Chinese, like, um, with the bourbon chicken and stuff like that. But now you coming in the malls now, and they got, like, they got, they got, like, like, independent stores in here. Maybe it's because the economy, you know, and a lot of places don't want to be in the mall no more. Who knows, but these independent shops, you know what I'm saying, you find the right mall, and you push your stuff in there, you want luck, you busy. Mm, mm, mm. Well, how's everybody doing today? This is my, my second food thing today, so if y'all mugs and muggets don't realize that, you know, y'all gonna see this outfit somewhere else. So, like, this is my second time at food today. And it was on. Um, First experience was, I was alright. I said what I had to say in that video, and I stand by it. But 
these fries, these are like double fried fries. Like, they actually taste like boardwalk fries. You know, when I eat these fries, I kind of want to be like, um, come down to Florida down by the sea. <laughs> Or the blanket with my baby is where I be on the the board, bro. <laughs> yeah. Put that vinegar on them. Mm. And the soda. The only thing I hate about soda is they go too quick. I need me a beer. Mm, mm -mm. This thing is more heavy up, so I can. We're about to split this on. Um, this Walking Dead down the middle. You know what I'm saying? I Walking Dead with a hot dog. Let me bring y'all close to y'all. Let me bring y'all a little close to y'all. I'm gonna go closer. You can see that thing? That thing got jalapenos, it got onions, it got cheddar cheese on it. Um, it got hot pepper relish on it. It got all kind of stuff on that thing, man. Kind of scared of it a little bit. Maybe that's why they caught the walking dead. Kind of scary. I mean, if it ain't hot, it ain't gonna be scary. Mm. I thought it was in that, in that valley price here, like five bucks a piece. Yeah. Five bucks a piece. No, he's on the, um, he on the phone with Pornhub. He done, um, he done ran up the bill on Pornhub. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened with trying to clean it up. You finished you hit it up with Pornhub? Sorry, home? man. Nah, man. It's... Shout out to my managers. You know what I'm saying? Making big moves. Um, they, they usually don't call me like that. So, I mean, we have our weekly phone calls, but, you know, if they were to call me direct, I know it's, like, urgent. Uh, so, how was it? <laughs> it was good. I'm sorry, I was fuck, I was fuck some fries up, man. Good. These fries kind of remind me of boardwalk fries. Man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I like, want to, I want to really take the, 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 the um, the, the malt, the malt vinegar and just pour it in the bag. It seems like sometimes like you just can't have enough malt vinegar on a fry, man. Yeah. But you might want to take a sip. I'm gonna go get like, yo, cheap. You put some yo, water in this. <laughs> slice that in half, man. That's what I was gonna do. I, you know, that listen. Walking Dead look like we about to have Walking Dead come out of our. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a double meaning to this dog right here. Yeah, man, that's for you, man. That's it. That's all I need, man. The walking Dead. Let's do this. Got more eating later. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm done with that. I don't know, man. Let's go. Cheers, my brother. Cheers, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. fucking that good, yo. Mm -hmm. oh. What? <laughs> fucking good. Well, I come here for a hot dog. I come for the walking dead dog. You like spicy? It ain't, it ain't spicy, but like, you know, the, the season on there. So it tastes like it got chili on it a little bit. I doubt if it's chili on there, but it's like chili. It got the hot peppers on this thing. It got onions. It got um, pepper relish. Sriracha sauce. Very good. If I come I here care. to try one, I'd do this one. This one's real. Really good. Hey. That was good. Mm-hmm. Everything else is kind of like imitating flavors, right? But this one, I feel like this could be like one of their signature ones where you come here just to get a taste of what they can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. The Walking Dead dog. Everything else, like I said, the Chicago dog. It's a. They're, they're copying off of Chicago. The Filipino, they're trying to copy a Filipino palate. But this one, 
They got a couple other ones. Atomic one. I had the Chili Cheese Dog before. Um, I forget the other one I had before. But these, these are more like designer dogs, man. Like, what, like $6 a dog. Hey, they've been here for a minute, though. Still Absolutely. affordable in a way. Yeah. Still affordable in a way, but, I mean, you do get a big dog. That thing was something hanging out, out the, the bus. <laughs> You do get your money so you know what i might as well just finish this man. you might as well man go ahead man dip it in that walking dead sauce i'm sorry to fuck it up <laughs> all right so man that was if this was your last dog like the last meal mm -hmm. i need you to be mad specific about how you like your hot dog you can use brands you can use the type of bread and toppings go ahead the last dog, you're gonna call it. It's probably two dogs that I want. Brand? It's either Nathan's or it's Black Bear. So, my toppings I want on it. I'm a difficult man. So how you wanna cook? You wanna grill or boil? Oh, I wanna grill, man. Shut you crazy, my <laughs> Ask me some stuff like that. I won't mind. What real. type of bread? Ah, uh, I want, I want a sweet Hawaiian roll. Okay, but I want a yeah, You want a potato roll, don't you? Uh uh. Mm -hmm. I want a sweet Hawaiian roll. I'll tell you in a minute. I want some chili on that thing. I want some cheese on that thing. I want, I want cheese whiz, and I want some shredded cheese on it. I want some relish. I want some ketchup. I got to have ketchup on my hot dog. Um, I take mustard too, because it's a, it's a default. I want some, that's it, relish spicy, already? Yeah, you did spicy mustard, yeah, regular I, mustard. I want some spicy, I want spicy um, sabret mustard. I want that one. Um, did I say onions yet? I think you my, did. If I didn't say onions, I want some onions on that thing. Um, I can live without sauerkraut, man. Yeah, I think that's what I want. It's a good one. <clears throat> I definitely do a beef hot dog. What brand? Um, you know what? Just because it's synonymous for just going to the Phillies game, I'll say ballpark. Beef dog, ballpark, or Deetson Watson. I don't mind Deetson Watson either. Deetson Watson's really good. <laughs> really good. Um, the bread. It's got to be a, yo, you ever had a split top hot dog bread? The, the ones that look, they look like bread, but it's split and it's split yeah. top. They use that for the lobster roll. Oh, yeah, that, yes. But that's uh -huh. really a hot dog bread that they use for the lobster roll. Get that next time. Next time you see a split top hot dog bread, get that next time. Mm. Lightly toasted. I want my dog grilled. They got to be grilled on, on the, uh, just right before it gets overdone. I don't want it to be burnt or nothing, but it's overdone. You know what I mean? Where... Where the ends of it just is starting to just split, you know, like a fat kid at a buffet. Like just the pants are starting to get tight, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, toppings. Ketchup mustard. Spicy mustard. Ketchup got behind this. I can't do cats up. I can't do no off brand ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Ketchup gotta have a name. It gotta be a name brand. Alright? I gotta have me some raw onions, some cooked onions, some kraut. That's it. I don't even want nothing else. That's it. That's all I want. That's my perfect dog. That's my last dog. What is your last hot dog? Be specific with it in the comments. You know what else I think about when I think about hot dogs? What? Connie Max. We used to go there for them dollar hot dogs in the Phillies games. Hell yeah. Man, we used to, yo, we used well, to. Phillies game used to have dollar dog night. Yeah, we used, to, we used to go there and we used to eat hot dogs all day and drink beer all day. And we'd be there from like. Five o'clock in the afternoon, like ten o'clock in the day, eating hot dogs and, and beer, man. If, like, if you remember, if you remember Connie Max, you know, leave leave a yes in the comments. <laughs> man, we got so many memories there, man. You know what my my most memorable stories is? What? This is an ugly story. When I when I was about to fight the. <laughs> I ain't never seen men so angry like that before. <laughs> man, it was like. We were sitting on the deck, the back part, and <laughs> something happened, and the one girl... It was a like, drunk girl, yeah, and she, she kept pointing at our table. And she snapped at Miz, like, she just, she was like... She ain't snap. 
she she the drunk girl was pointing. She was pointing at our table, and I'm looking. We just sitting. It's me, you, is 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 Tree and her sister. We sitting there, and we just like um, we eating, and a girl just like pointing at us, and I just like she got said up. something to you. Yeah, because I yeah. got up and said something yeah. to them. I got up like I went. I went to like yo, do we do something to y'all? And it's, I, I, I don't leave that out. Yeah, this big ass girl just jumped up <laughs> and said, "Yo, go sit the fuck down." That's See? what. That's what. That's what caused them. <laughs> I'm like I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to her. She over there pointing at us. And she she realized I wasn't gonna ban her. She said, "Listen, we just all here to have a good time, and I don't want no. I don't want. We don't want no trouble. We don't want no trouble. Let's just sit down." The point I was mad about, Chief, it wasn't the fact that the girl. It was the fact that I want to fuck somebody up that day. <laughs> no, you know what? She said something to you. <laughs> this happens to all of us, right? Like what we hear something, somebody say something. And at the moment we mad, but then like it's like a ticking time bomb after we leave, and you start thinking about it more, what you should have done, like what? But like at the time, like a girl said it to you, and she was kind of like you know she was manly in a way, so it was like, what do you do? But it, but it was the fact that I couldn't do nothing. That's what I mean, bro. I ain't never tell you this. I sleep for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> I was laying in my bed like, oh, I should have stuck out. <laughs> If it was a dude there with him, me and the dude would have to fight. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta get this out of my system, yeah. man. Like, because you know, you're not gonna get up and you're not gonna disrespect like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate you. If she would have swung on you, then I would have, you know, but I was like, I was kind of confused too. I'm like, damn, what's, how, am I supposed to have his back? Like, or is he. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if a dude said it, then yeah. Man, listen, man, I don't condone to hit no woman, man. You gotta take this up. Listen, she just swung at me, man. Listen, I live right bottom of on that table, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, it was just like, that was the part that made me so mad. So I was quiet as hell that whole night. It was like, it went from having a conversation, me sitting there quiet. I went home, I was sleeping. I was like, ooh, I woke up in my bed. Ooh, I said, oh, I said, oh, I said, oh. It was raining that night. He was outside. He was outside Connie Max like this. The raindrops all over. Rolling, rolling over your eye. I wanted to rumble that night, yo. Like, I was just like, it was in me. Like, nah, man, this girl is going to disrespect me like this, man. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm glad I, I have a cool composure a little bit, man. It just, I had to, I had to eat that one, man. I had to, like, absorb that all that energy for, like, two days, yo. I still get mad thinking about that stuff, yo. That's the worst. I'm glad that we just didn't go by ourselves. But, you know, I used to down, I used to drink some beers. Like, I used to, like, go in there and picture it up. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you miss. Want a race? <laughs> this mug always, man. He was always, like, he will be like, yo, he would get me. And you know why he get me? Because we drink out of a bottle. No. A, yeah, it was I a bottle. I drink out of a pint glass, bro. I remember the bottle because I remember saying my lip gets stuck in the bottle. I got, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to nah, sit this I thing. Even, I even did it with the uh, the pint glass. And like. You won't do it no more? Nah, you got that. Okay. I'll tell you what. <laughs> we bet for something right now. Oh, next time, yo, stay tuned for a bar episode where we will competitively drink as if we were. In our 20s again. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. Let's get this channel up to 30,000 if you want to see that episode. And I will out drink him in an episode. Oh, no, he won't. Watch. Get this it up to 30. This is 2022, G. Get it up to 30. This is 2022, Chief. You ain't doing that no more. You know another time that's funny? We need to tone here. It happened right back there at what, what used to be there when it was um, Don Pablo's. Well, Yo, man. I bet you can't drink this wine. I ain't never drunk wine like that in my life. I drink wine now, but it was one time and Drew had a cup of wine. He said, if you could drink that whole cup of wine. I always do this to him growing up, right? Like, I'd be like, yo, man. And I know how Miz, 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 at, yo, back in the day, yo, Miz, yo, I seen Miz stretch out five dollars for three weeks. <laughs> I still can. No, it's hard now. It's hard. Can't I have to pay Um So back then, I was like, "Yo, Miss, you want me to pay for your tab? I want you to finish this wine I got." It was. It was probably like half. Like you know, when wine, they don't pour the full cup. They pour like half of it. So I probably had maybe about three quarters. Hell no, that thing was half because it was a nice size. It was like that big. It was it like was... on the down. It was like kind of like thirty-five percent from the cup. Plus, I already been drinking already that day too. Yeah, we was drinking with beers. Tone all drink, I, all I know is he's drinking it, and it was like a mug was like regurgitating in the cup. Like you see the like the bubbles like back into the wine glass. <laughs> 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 like, 
Like he did not, he did not want to let go. He, we wanted, he wanted me to pay that bill that night. <laughs> Ain't never happened. He couldn't finish the challenge. I could do it now though. I tear me a bottle of wine up now, man. That's that's one of the finer things in life, man. A bottle of wine. Wine is good, man. Wine is a uh, mother nature's uh, alcohol. Man. Yeah, you remember what the best wine that we had, man? Riesling? Ain't the best. Is it but, Riesling? No. Remember that time we went to the Cherry Hill Winery and we bought that two dollar or something bottle of wine and we took it somewhere. It was just a bottle of wine to take. It was like a house one or some shit like that. And they wanted to take a two dollar bottle of house wine. It was that one. And it was that one. we were going to drink one. And they wanted to take a two dollar. Was like that was some good wine, y'all. And we were like, what the heck? <laughs> it was on sale for like two dollars and ninety seven cents. It was a it was a, a rose Merlot, Merlot rose. Man, when you try to take that thing, that thing was. Hey, sometimes you know you just got fake the funk. The bottle look good. Probably tastes good. They got to tell about how much it costs. Oh, yeah, she, she looked good, but can she cook good? <laughs> it's, uh, where is it? Brain Lightwood. What song is that? Yeah, you look good, but can you cook, cook good? good? It's your game, it's your game, Lightwood. Yeah. And you have some, and then you hang, huh? I thought that was my aunt for a second. I was like, ah, shucks. All right, and so, uh, what's the name of the Alright, so, uh, let's wrap it up, man. Yeah. All right, I, th I thank y'all again for liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing, because sharing is caring. Be sure to subscribe to my brother, but you know, most of y'all probably like, why this mug already, man? Because he the man. Um, and we'll see y'all again on the next episode. My eyes is mad light skin right now. I got contacts in, so I'm kind of like trying to focus. Like That happened to y'all when y'all get new contacts. I, I don't even wear contacts. It's like my first pair of contacts in years. And I'm like... Yeah, man, you know what I don't want y'all to be hating on me, like, why is he making up? Like, yo, I really, I'm kind of like. He walked up to me like this. I said, hey, man, what the heck, man? My hair right here. He said, oh, shucks, my fault, man. <laughs> now he pulled up. I'm like, yo, that's Young Buck from G Unit. <laughs> <laughs> I walk right the corner, man. I walk right the corner. Man, push my chest. He's like, oh, spam. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> But I ain't gonna lie, having contacts, I haven't, like I said, I don't even wear glasses like that. Um, this is beautiful, like, I can actually see fonts. I can see words. Yo, I can see things now. Yeah, I see things too, man. I see them on the sign. And, you know, Philly steaks. And I see a lot of steak sandwiches. A lot of steak sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> They got American steak sandwiches here. <laughs> American steak sandwiches. They got, you know. But yo, Mr. Grizz. JL Jupiter. Signing out. Love you, mug and my guests. Trees up. Hopefully, it's still recording. Right now. Bye. Bye.